Hey, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Luminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection Technology Game Times 2. The screen paint we're using in the demonstration is our roll-on Luminous Ambient Light Rejection. This is our Eclipse Cinema using Ambient Light Rejection Technology Game Times 2. Now, keep in mind, I've said this before, I do not like to do demonstrations on ultra short throw projectors. Now, I'll do a demonstration to display the screen is compatible with an ultra short throw, but um, as for using them, I don't like to use them. There's no challenge in it at all, and I'll tell you why. An ultra short throw projector, uh, the laser projector they have at 5,000 lumens, uh, 5,000 lumen laser projector, keep in mind, I think this one is 4K, uh, that projector will sit about one or two inches away from a screen. Uh, probably most six or seven at the most. Um, I've seen actually some sit one foot away from the screen and 14 inches. Now keep in mind when you have a projector sitting that close to a screen, the lumens are going to be at top notch regardless. Keep in mind if you're doing a long throw and you're doing a fully lit environment at 18 feet or if you're doing this at 14 feet, that means the lumens would have to travel a farther distance in order to make contact with the screen. Now keep in mind, you're not going to have the same amount of lumens that leaves that projector by the time it hits the screen. You're going to lose lumens. You're going to start to drop as you hit the screen, depending on how much light you have in the environment. Now, if your screen also has light surrounding around it, that makes it even harder because once those lumens travel across, they're going to have to hit that screen, submerge in some tons of light, and still come back with a perfect decent image. Now, one of the things that you don't have to worry about when it comes to ultra short though, because the projector is literally sitting right on top of the screen, lumens don't have to travel that far, which means you're not gonna lose your lumens and the picture quality is not gonna suffer probably next to nothing. Now, also too, when I watch demonstrations of people using the lampshade scenario, now, they use a lampshade to make it seem like the screen is actually taking on a lot of ambient light. It isn't taking on any ambient light because the lampshade is designed to block any of the harsh light around it, which means this would have no contact with the screen and just push light from the top to the bottom. Now, here we have one without the lampshade, which we like to do, and one with the lampshade. The light is going to be dispersed at the bottom. The lampshade, the lampshade is going to control all the light. It's going to push in two directions, at the top and at the bottom. Now, come over here, and I'll turn out my lights and you'll see that how the light is pushed at the bottom and the light rises to the top where with the lampshade, without the lampshade there's no light hardly at the bottom because it's not directed at the bottom, it's dispersed all the way around so it's not controlled and not redirected you know, you know, when I watch these demonstrations people have to understand that there's a form of physics when it comes to light All right, so that's why we don't use lampshades because a lampshade blocks any of the light hitting the screen and it really fakes the demonstration see the difference there you go so that's one of the things you have to look out for when someone's claiming the screen to be ambient light projection if they're using lampshades it's a bunch of nonsense alright so let's take our projector off blank mode right now so come over here and figure I got this new remote control so I'm getting used to it so we have it off blank mode and we're going to pull this back so it doesn't disrupt our picture quality we're going to lamp back because I have the lamp the lamp is sitting is actually interfering with the projector and I'm going to keep everything at the same even length all right so let's begin Now I figured it'd be too easy to do the demonstration using just a short throw projector right against the screen. It's just too easy. Now see how much light we're getting from here and less light we're getting from here? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here, I'm going to pause it, and I'm going to remove the lampshade because that's why we don't use lampshades. It's, it, makes the dem it makes it too easy. It gives off the appearance that the screen is really taking in all that light when it's really not. There you go. Put that over there, we don't need that. And I'll go back to the very begin. beginning. All right. I have a few people out there like to analyze my videos and break them down and show exactly where we're 
we're not we're lying and this that and the other but come on lamps projector that's it we're not using any lamp shades I'm not using a 5,000 lumen 5,000 lumen laser projector my projector is set my ultra short throw projector is 720p it is 2200 lumens it's an XGA projector that's it nowhere near 4k nowhere near 1080p it is all 720p at 2200 lumens and I'm sitting up here with lamps with no shades on it whatsoever now if I were to take this out and just use my everyday normal lighting in the environment at 2200 lumens that's what my screen looks like and some people consider this environment where I'm at right now to be harsh lighting that's a cakewalk for our technology at 2200 lumens the lights back on So yes, our black screen paint can be used with ultra short though projectors. Revise, you actually lean toward the silver, but that's what it's designed for. It's an, our screens are designed for just about every projector. I've done these tests already on 50 lumens. I've done it on short throw, ultra short throw, 4K. I've done it. We change our projectors up. We just don't use the same projector over and over again. Like I said, you're watching a demonstration and somebody's up there showing you a 4K projector in the dark and they're saying check out the detail, look at how, how, how the screen looks so fantastic. That's because the 4K is a 4K projector. 4K projector is going to have a higher resolution, it's going to be able to pull up more detail out of the screen regardless of what kind of screen paint you have up there. That's why we're using 4K, we're doing it in fully lit environments. That projector had to work for it. I'm pushing my lamps right against the screen. They're sitting right in front of that projector. It's projecting right through all this light. And I've done this, keep in mind, I've done this demonstration at around 13, 14 feet back. That's the first one I did. And this is how much lighting we have in the environment. And that's what that screen is pulling up. How about this? I'll make him kiss the screen, right against the screen. Let's put it right up against the screen. How about that? Is that enough light? No shade. See, the thing about it when it comes to our technology, some people have no idea how powerful this technology is. When we do fully lit, and di fully lit demonstrations, you have no idea the extent on how powerful this stuff is. All right, for my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Burr from Illuminus 4K Screen Paint using Amulite Rejection Technology Game Times 2. We have the new Roll-On Silver Screen Paint, the Professional Archie High Grade Professional Silver, which is available on our website, and of course, the amazing black screen paint that we have developed that allows you to be able to use your screen in a fully lit environment. As I said before, take the time, go on the internet, check around, see how many people are doing demonstrations on our level, and get back with us. Now, for those of you, and I get up from time to time and say, well, it's not fair, you're using ultra short throw. I'm using ultra short throw with two lamps up against the screen. Let's go down into the basement 